Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and you join me at the end of day one of a brand new show in London. Uh, this is the BBC introducing Amplify 2017 show here down in London's Docklands at Excel. And this has got all the vibes of a proper music show. Not just a trade show, but an actual music show where people bring instruments in, chill out, hang out and actually make music. The place is covered in stages, there's also a trade show section with uh, loads of well-known industry brands, a few bits and pieces that are a bit off the wall and stuff you wouldn't normally see at trade shows because they've been able to appeal to smaller, kind of a smaller audience and stuff that's just really, really cool. We've seen some amazing performances from new artists, unsigned artists, and that's exactly what this thing is about. Getting information out to uh, performers and artists who are new to the industry and finding out how to make it on their own which is absolutely the way things should be going. There is, of course, a trade show element to this thing, and there's loads of our uh, usual brand partners, uh, guys like Focusrite are here, Marshall are here, uh, Universal Audio, KMR, all those guys are here, and they're showing off some amazing kit and some great toys. There are also some smaller brands and some stuff that I would like to highlight to you at my kind of end of the day roundup. So my kind of top five things that I've seen at the show today are as follows. First one is a small company called Honey by Amps. Now, these are a custom amp guitar amp manufacturer based in Glasgow in Scotland, uh, and they make two amplifiers. One is five watts and one is 18 watts. And they're tiny, they're kind of super powerful, super simple, but it's going back to that old kind of Fender Champ style. Really custom boutique amps. You can have any coating you like as long as it's not black. Very, very cool. They really sound great. They've got a real bite to them and they sound incredible. Second up is the new compressor, mastering compressor from Tegla. Um, I know Dan is a major fan of Tegla and I really hope that he gets one of these things soon. It's a long time since I've seen automated motorized pots on a piece of hardware that directly links to the plugin. I'm really looking forward to hearing this thing in a review and I'm pretty sure Dan will be getting one soon. So check that one out. Going back to all things British just for a moment, Hammer Audio, new microphone manufacturer based in North London, uh, have produced the HA872. Now this goes back to the old school U87s, um, as in the original U87s from the 60s. And uh, couldn't really hear it because quite frankly, it's always difficult to hear in a trade show where people are actually making some noise. But it looks amazing. I'm told it sounds incredible. And they have said they'll let me have a pair to review very soon. But if looks are anything to go by, these things are going to be awesome. Stereo pair of those on, a, on drum overheads will be incredible. The team from Source Distribution were here showing off the amazing Matrix Brute synth keyboard thing. Now, I'm no synth head, but I took one look at this thing and went, that's going to sound incredible. The Matrix Brute has just got, it's the new thing. It's the big daddy of the Arteria range. And... Wow, some of the noises coming out of that thing were absolutely incredible. I'll let Stephen and the team at Synth Expert review that one. But if you're a synth head or a, an audio sound kind of person, this is definitely something to check out. That's the Matrix Brute from Arturia. And last but by no means least, it's not really a thing. It's more what this show's all about. The vast number of studio sessions and seminars each day that are running are quite incredible. Not only are there celebrity panels and producer panels, things like that, there's live bands happening in each corner of the show, but there are eight studio sessions going on per hour. That's an entire blackboard of stuff that's going on. The queues to get into these sessions have been pretty long and they've all been sold out or queued out, if that's the real word. But the amount of people who are sucking up information at this show is truly awesome. Um, so if you're around for the next couple of days, it's on all weekend, uh, and you're in the London Docklands area, or you can get to this place, you really should check it out. It's BBC Amplify 2017 or Amplify 17. Uh, you need to check it out. We really, really hope this show is going to be the music show for the UK. Certainly. All the manufacturers and exhibitors here I've spoken to are all up for giving it a good crack. It certainly has got potential to be a massive show in the future, and I really, really hope it continues to do so. But for now, my name's James Ivey, and I will see you again soon, probably around here somewhere, for plenty more Gear Talk.